Being able to timely detect whether another person intends to harm us is critical for survival. If we see a person inflicting pain on another and consider that he acted deliberately, we tend to believe that the harm was greater than if the action had been accidental. Accordingly, we feel more empathy for the victim and wish to punish the perpetrator more severely, independently of whether harm was actually caused. This means that the moral appraisal of harmful actions relies more on our perception of intent than on their result. This is known as the intention magnifies harm effect. The ability to identify whether someone is committing or about to commit a malicious action against another individual proves crucial to judgment, moral cognition and empathy. This study shows for the first time that the amygdala plays a crucial role in the early detection of the intention to harm. We know that these processes activate different frontal and temporal regions, which support our inferences of others' mental states, including intent, empathy, and other aspects of moral cognition. To date, cognitive neuroscience research, based on neuroimaging and electromagnetic techniques, has not been able to reliably determine what region or network critically subserves the fast detection of the intention to harm. We studied this ability with invasive intracranial recordings. This is one of the most precise methods in cognitive neuroscience, because it allows us to determine, better than any other method, where and when the brain generates neural activity associated to a certain cognitive process. Intracranial recordings are the only method that enables direct measurement of human brain activity. Simply put, it allows us to see directly into the brain when it is performing a cognitive task. Participants were presented with three types of situations in which one person inflicted upon another intentional harm, unintentional harm, and neutral actions. After watching the situations, the participants indicated whether or not there was intentional harm. While performing this task, brain activity was recorded in 115 regions. For all participants, deliberately harmful actions selectively modulated activity in one same area, the amygdala. Such modulation occurred during the first 200 milliseconds, and it predicted the ulterior classification of the actions as intentional or unintentional. In this time window, only the amygdala systematically discriminated the intentional actions and predicted its classification. Using recent connectivity measures that show how multiple brain areas coordinate activity during task performance, we found that the amygdala communicates selectively and early with several frontal and temporal regions as participants observe intentional harmful actions. The amygdala and its frontotemporal networks are decisive for the early detection of intentionally harmful actions. The human amygdala has long been believed to support basic emotional processes. In addition to confirming this, our study is the first to show that this structure is also involved in high-level processes, such as the early detection of the intention to harm. Through early internal processing and subsequent coupling with several frontotemporal regions, the amygdala supports this complex process which proves critical to moral cognition, empathy and theory of mind. These results offer the first direct evidence that the amygdala is part of a network that processes the salience of relevant social information and that it intervenes in high-level mechanisms. This study opens up a new field of research on the role of the amygdala's networks in ultra-rapid high-level processes.